Hello and welcome to Crafty Doctor's YouTube channel and in this video I am going to show you connecting your webcam to your Microsoft Xbox One. So with the new update that Microsoft has released uh, October 2017, uh, it's currently only available to alpha and beta users uh, of the software but it will be released um, probably before December uh, for everybody else. So what this update does multiple different things, but one of the things is you can add a webcam onto your Xbox, uh, any webcam. I'm currently going to show you using a Logitech C922 and uh, I'm just going to connect it into the side USB port of the Xbox One. And you see straight away the lights flashed showing that obviously the power was there, so we know something had happened there. But as you can see on the dashboard of the Xbox, there's nothing at all that's come up to show or indicate that uh, the webcam is connected. So I think that's something they should change really because you need to know if it's connected, it'd be nice to know. So I'm just gonna go into uh, a stream. Uh, so I've just opened Minecraft and um, obviously I'm not streaming or doing anything like that, but I'm just gonna go into Mixer and just see if I can have the camera um, show, uh, show the webcam whilst I'm doing the stream within Mixer. So you see that the lights are now lit up. Now I've gone into Mixer. On, on either side of the camera they are uh, lighting, so that would suggest that uh, the Xbox can see the camera and Mixer can also. So I'm switched on. Obviously switch it off, the lights go off on the camera. Switch it back on, the lights come on as you uh, toggle the switch within the Mixer app on your Xbox One. Uh, now I was reading in, in the notes that chat is not available through the webcam yet but it's allowing me to select it within this menu. I haven't tried the chat within uh, Mixer app uh, but uh, it is allowing me to toggle the switch on and off. And you can see uh, now in the bottom right hand corner the overlay with the Mixer overlay showing obviously that it's been on for zero minutes currently. Uh, no watches, but the important thing, you can see the little microphone next to it and you can also see the camera which uh, suggests that the camera is working and streaming uh, fine. Again, I think this is possibly something that might be needed on the updates, but it'd be nice to see your own face in there. Uh, like you would see uh, if you're using the Elgato streaming or something like that, you can actually see the overlay of what you look like and if you're using a green screen and stuff like that. So. Although it's indicating that the camera is being used, uh, I think it still needs a bit more work, a bit more polishing up, just to show you that um, what you're streaming and, and what's happening. Because not all webcams have lights on the side like um, this webcam, this the Logitech C922 does. So just while I'll just speed this bit section up, because I need to really come out of this and just show you. Um, obviously, not streaming in here because it doesn't really show you anything. All you can see is the camera's looks like it's working and it looks like it's streaming so I think really we need to uh, just go into the settings or we'll just check and just see what else we've got so you can see there it's obviously live at the moment um, but if I just uh, cancel that one out and I'll just go to the advanced settings and just see if it gives me any more details in here so yours might not ask you for a pass key I have mine locked down uh, just because it's on a family device so I, I can go to the advanced settings and you can see there the settings mic on but to the right where you've got the capture you can change this to 720p uh, and also to 1080p um, and also where it's saving the save two slots at the moment mine's in saving to internal uh, and it shows you how much time you've got to record so all them things um, are set and, and you can do in your camera settings Okay, so I'll just come back out of that and I'll just open Skype up and just show you the camera working within Skype. At least you can actually then see that uh, it is actually doing something. You're not just watching me telling you that the, uh, the camera's working. So it's just uh, let Skype open. And you can see, um, if you notice on, on top of the Xbox, the, little, uh, the webcam there. So it's now asking me to uh, kind of like access to the camera. So obviously click yes. Again, mine's locked down, so I need to put the passcode in. Um, once it has accepted these, we should start uh, and should see the lights on the side of the camera. So now it's asking us do we want to give access to the microphone on the camera as well. Again, put my passcode in um, so we can give access to the Xbox One to the webcam. Okay, so now it's having a think about what it's doing, but 
it's currently not connected because I know this looking at the webcam on sat on top of my Xbox you can see that the lights aren't lit up either side of the lens and like I say some webcams don't even have the lights so it's that's why I think really it needs some sort of image within the uh, user interface on the Xbox to show you if uh, your webcam is actually working or not so this seems to be just taking a while just to configure itself that's finally got there so obviously what I need to do is just go into the test the camera settings and just have a look and um, see if we can see the camera and the picture um, and hopefully we should be able to see me once um, the camera gets working so if I just go into the settings in Skype purely just to show you that it's working really nothing else so you can see there uh, the test video is currently toggled off so if I switch that on well, I need to pick the device so straight away the Skype can see the webcam so that's good and then we need to so now we're telling that's the camera we want to use multiple other settings here I'm not going to go into all these because these are ones that if you've got to connect you'll see some of these anyway uh, but if I go back up to the top you should be able to see the test video so I'll just toggle, toggle that one to one now the camera's switched on lights come on and you've got a picture of me and I'll just move it so you're not looking up so again if you're doing Skype great on your Xbox but also this could be used just to set the camera how you'd like to view it within uh, Mixer uh, because obviously when you're what if you're in mixer you can't actually see the camera like i was explaining before so this would be nice just to get it set exactly how you want it uh, once you're happy with it then you can come back out of skype and then go into your mixer settings um, and then get streaming switch your camera on and obviously you could check your stream on a mobile device or a tablet or anything like that okay so that's the end of the video i hope you like the video if you did please do subscribe give us a thumbs up or any comments below and thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel.